is I, Hack of a Dog. But don't be worried, Crocodile. It's not just me talking to you tonight on my own, being boring like usual. I'm going to be joined by the legendary actress and all-round good guy, Danny Armour. That's right. She's returning to our screens next week on the My Mum, Tracy Beaker. It's TV legend, Danny Armour. Wahey! Danny Armour! And I appreciate you staying up late to do an Instagram with me. I know um, this is way it's past it's my bedtime. I'm normally in bed by now, but for me you, too. anything. Well, you're an hero to me, and I've known you for a long time, so that's good, isn't it? Yeah, way too long, actually. It makes well, me feel ancient. We are old now, not long left, are we? <laughs> I hope we've got a little bit of time left. A little bit of time left. <laughs> now, I was looking at your Instagram the other day, and you dyed your hair. I did. I was going great. Six so years off you, that. Thank you so much. Stop it, you. Yeah, um, yes, vintage I, Tracy Beacon has. <laughs> I was trying to go for like a brown, but it just went really dark. Like, it looks great, really Cocker. It oh, looks man. great, and I'm proud of you. Now, Danny Ann, thank you for allowing me uh, into your home. Not, in the, not literally, because that would be weird. But by the means, I am in my bedroom. To be fair, hey, look at my DVD room. Ooh, wow, that is a lot of DVDs. And that's only a little bit. I've got about four thousand. I can't fit them all in because it's portrait on Instagram. It's stupid. Are you not a little bit like, oh, what a waste of money? Seeing as everything's on download now, and now you've just got loads of DVDs that you can't really use. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Same. Also, <laughs> you spend that long looking for something. By the time you pick some, it's bedtime, so you don't watch anything. So the <laughs> exactly. more DVDs you have, they're actually the less you watch, you spend more time procrastinating. If only yeah. had three, I'd know which one I was watching. <laughs> I'm totally with you. By the time you get to it, you can't even be bothered anymore. Oh, you can't be bothered getting it out of the box. Oh, what's the point? <laughs> now, Danielle, we yeah. spoke recently on another Top Dog It's the Line. What have you been up to since then, Cocker? Oh, not much. <laughs> no, no, you're doing <laughs> Nothing. No, I actually have filmed a new series. Um, my mum, Tracy Beaker. I know Ooh. she's back. I'm glad you know. It's good that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it comes out next Friday on the twelfth. On um, CBC. Yes, on CBC at five o'clock. Well, I'll be there. I'll yeah. link into it. Oh yes, please do. That I'll give you a wave. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll be waving back from somewhere. Uh, somewhere so, better. Yeah, so that was quite fun, actually getting to be Tracy again, which was yeah. awesome, after so long. Because I think we worked out that I hadn't played Tracy in like a proper series for about 10 years. Tracy Baker Returns, wasn't it? It was, and that was 10 years ago. I remember because you came in. We did I a big know. premiere, didn't we? We did, um, which is very exciting. It's a shame we can't do like a massive, huge premiere again, but you know, we can't all be in the same room, can we? Which is a shame. So, this is just as good, just this as good. Great. Although, when you do series two, we can because all the vaccines <laughs> will be done, but so we can do it then. <laughs> Who knows? Do you know what? There, there could be another one, we don't know. It ends very kind of, hmm, um, you know, yeah, bit of a, bit of a cliffhanger. There will um, be another one, because everyone loves Tracy Beaker. Oh, I hope so. Um, and I hope they really enjoy the new one, because it is a bit different, because it's kind of, everyone can watch it, basically, and enjoy it. So if you watch Tracy Beaker the first time round, and you're in your kind of <coughs> late 20s, early 30s, <coughs> <coughs> like myself, then you're going to enjoy it because you can relate to Tracy and what she's going through now. But if you're younger, and even if you've never seen Tracy Beaker before, you're going to love it, because... Jess Beaker is such a good character. Tracy's daughter, she is awesome. You're going to love her. I can't wait to watch it, Danny Armour. It's exciting. Yeah, I've actually yeah. not seen it yet, so I'm hoping it's good. <laughs> well, you and me will watch it at the same time, won't we? Yes, please. Yeah, probably next Friday. <laughs> what time's it on again? Five o'clock. Bye. Five o'clock, everybody. My mum, Tracy Beaker, five o'clock, Fridays, next week, starting next week on CBBC. Look out for me just before it, because I'll be up at 10. Um, and I'm sure I'll probably be popping up all over the place as well next week, yes. all over the CBBC channel. You're probably going to get pretty bored at this pace. No, we're not. We'll get you on CBBC next week and do an Instagram, a, a live Zoom thing, not the telly. 
Oh, that would be very nice. I'll speak to my people. It'll oh, speak to your people. Absolutely, and then our people will speak to each other. I think they're the same people, aren't they? The same yeah, I, I think they are. They're just the same people. It's just Jacqueline Wilson still writing. So, yes, yeah, so she wrote the book, My Mom Trace Speaker, a few years ago. Um, and I think she's done a follow-up as well called We Are the Beaker Girls. Um, so, yeah, I think she just lo obviously loves Tracy Beaker and just cannot stop writing about her. And I'm not complaining because it's keeping me in a job during a it's pandemic. It's your mortgage Thank page, you, isn't it? I like Jacqueline Wilson. She's funny, isn't she? She is one of the loveliest people I have ever met. Um, she just has time for absolutely everyone. Um, and yeah, she's, just, she's great. And also, her books are awesome. I very good. I, I like it. I always enjoy interviewing her. I spend your time with her. I make her laugh, but she doesn't know why. <laughs> I think you make everyone laugh, Packer, and none of us know why. I don't know why. I bother trying sometimes, but that's true <laughs> Now, Danielle, what's yep. the funniest story from set? Oh, the funniest story. Um, yeah. I'm not sure whether it's that funny, um, but when you watch it, you might notice that we're freezing cold, like, all the time, because every single time we filmed outside, it chucked it down with rain. We oh, it does, not it? Oh, we had the worst luck with filming. Every single time I stepped outside, it rained. So my poor hair is all over the place. Um, but we had a really, really great time filming, actually. Uh, little Emma, who plays my daughter, oh my goodness, she is the most incredible actress. I cannot wait for you all to see her. She's brilliant. Fantastic. We should get her on a Zoom call on CBC as well. That'd be good. Yes. Do it. Do it. She's I'll great. speak to my people again. It'll speak okay. to your people. And, and then speak, speak to, to her people. people. Yeah. yeah, although we probably do have the same people. It's literally the same people. It's literally is, yeah. Hey, Trace Speaker, Danny Armour, if it's successful, can I be in the next series? Yes, of course you can. Absolutely. Obviously, if it, if it tanks, I don't want to be in it, but if it's good. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, if it's rubbish, don't bother. But if we get I've already been in enough failures. In. I've been in enough flops as it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, we don't want any more of that. But actually, we do have a dog in it called Alfie. So maybe you could be some kind of relative. I could be his uncle. <laughs> yeah, a really young uncle, though. You look Obviously, a young, young handsome uncle. Very handsome. I'll speak to Jacqueline Wilson about that again. Now, Danny Armour, will yeah. you do me a favour? And not just me, all the fantastic people watching. I've clocked in the comments now. A lot of them have asked, will you say bog off? So please, ask Tracy Beaker, will you say bog off to all our lovely fans? All right, only because it's you, though, Hacker, OK? Bye. <coughs> so i just got to warm up. You're very good at that. Yeah, ready? Yeah. Fuck off! Ha! Tracy That's Speaker. That's told you all to, you've annoyed your neighbours there. Now, Dania, I've got a very, very important question to ask you. It's very serious, this bit. <coughs> OK. Will you marry me? Yeah. Deal. Right, that's that, then. Right, before we go, um, I'm going to field a couple of questions from the uh, comments and we'll see if there's anything exciting. Phantom <laughs> of the Opera, let me say, will Tracy Beaker return to come back one day or even come back to the dumping ground? Um, well, I don't really know. I suppose we, I think for Tracy Beaker returns, I think we've kind of moved on now. And I suppose this is the next stage, which is by Mum Tracy Beaker. So I don't know, but you never know, she might want to go back and become a care worker again in the future. Who knows? She won't. Possibilities are endless. But she won't. Right. That's that then. <laughs> uh, no, she won't is the answer. That's the question. <laughs> Silly Chili says, if you were a superhero, which one would you be? Oh. Well, my favourite superhero is the Hulk. Because, hello, it's the Hulk. Who wouldn't want to turn green and be super strong? Be good, that, wouldn't it? It would be very good. But also, um, Iron Man's pretty cool. I mean, Iron Man. Is he galvanised, though, because he might rust? <laughs> yes, exactly. I, and he, he did also save the planet, so he's pretty cool. You have to think ahead, though, when you made an iron. You can't just go out if it's raining. I mean, you couldn't have filmed my mum, Tracy Beaker, as no, Iron Man. He would, yeah, he would not have had the best time, definitely not. Unless he was galvanised, <laughs> of course, so always think ahead. Ella Catherine XO or something says, Would you ever want to eat a worm again? No. Why, what does that why, mean? why? Why would you want to eat a worm? That's gross. Um, you yeah, no, I, I get asked this all the time. So there was an episode where Tracy ate a worm, 
Oh, are you dirty, you? Guys, obviously it wasn't real. Who does that? No one's going to eat an actual worm. That's disgusting. It was a what piece was of it licorice. Then? A caterpillar? No, it was a piece of licorice. It was all good. It was very, very tasty, actually. Oh, it's that. I didn't realise that. Yeah, I, well, said, there you so go. I thought you had a worm because you're mucky. <laughs> I'm not that mucky. <laughs> now, here's a good one. Uh, Adam Unwin says, Please, will you sing the Tracy Baker theme tune? Oh, gosh, I don't know the words properly. Um, I can make my work come true. Hey! Can you see me through? Hey! And the butt will get me down. Hey! There's a dumb, dumb, and a hundred pounds, blah, blah, day. Hey! And a bad early. Hey! Believe me now, I'll win someday. Yeah. <laughs> Some of those weren't the right words, I'm afraid, but no one um, I think you're fine, they were. Um, no, you should know. Let's be honest, you should know. I should know them, to be fair. You I know them. are but Tracy I'm, Beaker. I know, but I hate watching myself, so I don't actually ever sit down and watch it, so that's probably why I don't know it. You I'm should not. just Wikipedia the lyrics or something. Yeah, maybe I'll do that next time. I should have come prepared. I'm an actor. I didn't. My only I didn't. Why prepared. should you? Sorry. I didn't, so why should you? Right. <laughs> One more question, but it happens to be also a good opportunity for you to plug that show again. Okay. So Amber asks, do you know when my mum, Tracy Beaker, is coming out? Do you know what, Hacker? I actually do know when my oh, mum, Tracy Beaker, yeah. comes out. Yes, I do. It's on, the, the 12th of February, and it's going to be on at 5 o'clock on the CBBC channel. And then episode 2 is going to be on the 13th of February at 5 o'clock on the CBBC channel. And then the last episode, episode number 3, is going to be on the 14th, which is Valentine's Day, at 5 o'clock on the CBBC channel. That is exciting, Tracy Baker, Danny Armour, and his favourite people. Thank you for being on my Instagram Live. I appreciate you staying up. Uh, but thanks for dyeing your hair just for me. Just for you, darling. Anything yeah. for you. <laughs> and I will see you on Friday by the medium of CBBC, because I'll be linking into your show. La, 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 la. Hey. Bye. Right, I'll press the button, Danny. You keep waving. All right, thank you. Bye.